Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter, and today I have a hamper to show you. No, it's not a laundry hamper. Although, if anyone feels like doing my laundry, I'm your girl. Check in with me, I'd love that. But it is a hamper from the one with the diamond art. I've got so much to show you, so let's head into the painter's place and I'll show you what I got. See you in there. are back in the painter's place. All right, first of all, I wanted to show you some progress. I have been remiss in my duties on showing you progress on what I've been working on. These two finishes, I love to call these finishes. I finish them in like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but they're so fun to do. Uh, I unboxed these in a previous video, but these are from my little mini diamond painting kit from Paint Gym. They're doors. I finished door number one and door number four. I feel like I'm on the prices right. Anyway, uh, I just have been selecting um, these doors randomly to do in between my couple of other projects that I'm doing and they are turning out so cute. Uh, this is an, a brand new kit from Paint Gem. Um, I'm an affiliate with Paint Gem. Um, use the code CARA, C-A-R-R-A, and you can get 10% off if you choose to. But those are my little doors. Okay. Like I said, I'm not gonna take a whole lot of time because I got a lot to show you. This is my progress for not only uh, DP Pride, uh, an event that's going on this month, but also our Craftably Craze event. I will be doing a video this week announcing the winner of week two progress, but this is my week two progress on uh, Sitting on a Sunflower. It is a Jasmine Beckett Griffith from Craftably I am not doing any replacement in this particular kit because there are lots of ABs and crystals. So I am doing this kit as is and I'm loving the way it's turning out. I have the beginnings of a bumblebee here and the sunflowers looking so pretty. I have her little socked feet done. So uh, excited about this one. It's going really well. It's around and so um, I'm loving that. And I'm toggling back and forth between this one and this one. This one is Pretty in Pastel by Romy Lerda um, from Dreamer Designs. I am doing a lot of replacing in this um, from DP with Sparklers. Uh, fortunately, Tina and Cheryl uh, have done a great job with their replacement directions. And so, um, as originally charted, these leaves were really weird looking to me, at least. I'm just saying that's my opinion, but the leaves were just strange looking. I don't know. The colors were not vibing with me or something. But um, because I am using what Tina and Cheryl have charted and uh, the directions that they sent, I've been able to replace a lot of the colors with sparklers, and they look fantastic. Um, also wanting to call your attention to the dimension in these roses. These roses um, have, I believe, three different crystals in them from DP with Sparklers, and you can tell they just add depth and dimension to the roses. I am loving how this is turning out. I am moving and grooving on this. I probably have had four sessions with this, and by a session, I mean... I call it a couple of hours of work. So uh, this one is working up quick. My only complaint with this one, the drills are beautiful, the canvas is beautiful to work with. There's just some gapping in these square drills and maybe it's just me uh, being a little bit um, OCD, I don't know, but um, there's just a little bit of gapping. I'm trying to overlook it. I will be doing some adjusting when I finish this one up, but I have noticed a little bit of gapping on this one now the crystals help a lot with that. So I don't have any gapping in my roses and my leaves that I've done, but in some of the other areas I do. But I am loving this one. This is um, this will be the first Dreamer Designs canvas I have ever completed. So um, I'm excited about finishing this one up. Okay, now that is my progress and what I'm working on diamond painting project wise. Now, unboxing wise, like I said, I have a hamper to show you from the one with the diamond art. They are a UK based business. As I've said before, I've ordered a couple things from them, um, but they call these hampers. I love this. They're, 
I think a hamper may be another name for something. Why are you getting my Melly machete? Are you, oh, to help me? I'm like, what are you going to do with that? Is this going to be like an ID channel <laughs> series on the principal painter? No, no, no. <laughs> we won't start any rumors. Okay. As you recall, I did unbox and I need you to look at these because I need your help with them. I'm going to take one of these pieces that I'm about to show you to the retreat and I want you to help me pick which one. This I've unboxed for you already. This is Miss Edith's Tea Party and I love this one so much. It's every time I look at it, I fall more in love with it. It's just beautiful. It is confusing. Betty City, though. I mean, her, even her face. I mean, you can just, if Marlon, can you pan them in on this face? I mean, you can just, it, it's, if you are a confetti lover, oh my gosh, you would be in Disneyland with this canvas. So that is one I'm trying to decide. And I thought maybe the retreat would be a great place to start this one. I'd have a lot of support and people around me. So um, I may take this one. I just, I love everything about this canvas. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now, I just received another one that I ordered. Um, I've not unboxed this one and I'm just gonna show you the canvas and save the unboxing because I'm woefully behind on unboxings. And really all you care about is the canvas and the drills anyway. So that's one. So remember this image because I'm going to have you pick between this one and the next one I'm going to show you. The next one I have to show you, I just got and I love it. I love different. I love unique. And this one checks all of those boxes. This one, what is this called? Okay, I see the title of the... <laughs> Queen of Spades, there you go. Queen of Spades is the title. This one also has a ton of confetti in it. I loved the colors. I loved, um, it's just a little bit different of an image. Um, I love all the card references and symbols on the outside of her. I thought her profile was absolutely beautiful. I love that it's a little bit abstract, a little bit geometric. So, what I need you to do before I show you what I have to unbox is between this one and the last one, Miss Edith's Tea Party. In the comments below, pick one. You're gonna help me decide which one of these I'm gonna to take to the retreat to start. So it's either Miss Edith's Tea Party or the Queen of Spades. You guys decide based on just looking at these two images and uh, whoever gets the highest votes in the comments, um, I'll take it. So, uh, and I will definitely share my progress moving on with these. Okay, so what I want to show you today, and I'm very interested in opening up, is this hamper. They call it a hamper. It's a mystery box or a mystery bag, shall I say, from the one with the diamond art. They have several levels of these price-wise. I got the silver level. So I think the silver level is like 60 or 70 bucks, but you get a couple of diamond paintings and some other um, items in it. I didn't get a, I didn't get the lowest level, didn't get the highest level. I just got one middle of the road. And the uh, they said you'd get two paintings, but I don't know which paintings uh, I got. They also, what I like about these is they also allow you, if you like a specific artist or a type of art, you can put down a preference uh, for what types of diamond paintings they do put in these hampers. I just put surprise me, so I have no idea what's in here. So first off, let's get all of the contents of this hamper out. Okay. Got some drills, got some stuff wrapped, wrapped up in tissue. You can obviously see what is what. Okay, wait a minute. Am I supposed to have another diamond painting that didn't get in here? Hmm. Am I missing something? I could be missing something. I think I'm missing a diamond painting. We'll see. Okay, so this is the one with the diamond art. That is bizarro. Okay. All right, so first off, let's open this one first. I'm confused, I'm very confused. Maybe you just caught one? No, I see two. Okay, maybe they're both wrapped up together. 
Marlon's giving me the thumbs up. Okay, I'm jumping the gun here. I tend to put the cart before the horse. Ask my husband. He's also giving that a thumbs up. So, oh, okay. So I got some AB Beautiful 996 AB Drills. Um, remember, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on the drills that makes them uh, capture facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around them and just makes them all together now. Shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer. shimmer. Just, just a little, little bit more. more. Good, Marlon. I'm glad he <laughs> listens to me. So that is just a little extra thing that they put in here. You get a diamond painting pen. It looks to be a wooden pen. I've never had a wooden pen. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so it is a wooden pen. It's got a nice metal tip on it. All right, I like the way, okay, it's not heavy. You know, I, I judge my diamond painting pens by weight, but I've never had a diamond painting pen. It's a very simple turn and design. So that's pretty cool. And I really like the, um, it's a rose gold tip. So uh, that's very nice. Again, you get all of this in your box. Okay, what else wrapped up here? What other goodies do I have? Okay, two toolkits. Let's see what's in the toolkits. Okay, not gonna take a lot of time on the toolkits. Uh, they are basic toolkits that you need to diamond paint. You get a pen, a squishy, a pot of wax. Uh, looks to be a two-placer, multi-placer, sharp, stabby tweezers. Keep the sheath on and do not poke your eyeball out and a tray, everything essentially that you'll need to diamond paint. But in these kits, they also put some really pretty, am I holding it correctly? Down, um, some really pretty washi tape. So that's very nice. So that's the washi tape in the first kit. This is the washi tape in the second kit. Don't wanna take time to drag everything out and take more time. All right, so let's look and see. Let's put rolls over here. I am thinking both of these paintings are rolled up together. I have not seen these. I have not seen these at all. Okay, they are rubber banded with the clear rubber bands. Uh, these are poured glue canvases. Oh, it's nicely sealed with a little sticker that says the one with the diamond art. That's nice. If I can get it off, I don't want to, I can help not tear. There we go. Okay. All right, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna stick that right there so maybe I can stick it on something else. Yes, okay, so both of these canvases are rolled up together. They are smaller canvases, like I said. I didn't get like the top of the line hamper or the bottom of the line hamper. The backs of the canvases are very felty feeling. They are scalloped and surged to prevent fraying. All right, I'm gonna see if I can pull a trick out of my sleeve. They have been rolled on this foam core roller. I'm gonna pull a trick out. Never before have I attempted to roll two diamond paintings back at the same time. Can she do it? Can she do it? We will see. All right, this is gonna be a trick because I don't wanna. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. There's one. Here's two. Look at that. I'm doing it. I'm rolling two back at the same time. Tell all your friends. The principal painter is a multi-talented, just kidding, okay. <laughs> so because these are poured glue, they do have a clear plastic uh, covering on them. You can roll them back and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. You do not have to, uh, but it does help expedite the process. So let's see what we got okay here is our okay hang on mine's upside down i got an octopus and again these are not big diamond paintings beautifully colored octopus uh these are the drills for it um i'm not going to take a whole lot of time with the drills i will show you there is an inventory sheet in each one of these paintings so i'll show you a little bit clearer image of what you're looking at here. Okay, there are two pages. Oh, wow, 40 colors. So this, is, it's a 40 by 50. Uh, it does have a couple of, uh, three ABs maybe in it. Hang on, let me look on the schematic. There appear to be, are these mixed up? Here's one AB. Maybe, I'm looking. 154, 704, there's an A. Hmm, 
I don't see any other A, Bs, but I may need to figure that out. There appears to be, what I see, three A, Bs in here. Um, a purple, a green, and a red. Your inventory sheet. Uh, you don't have pre-cut stickers, but you can run this through a Xyron uh, sticker maker. There are columns. Um, the first column tells you how many colors. This is on two different pages, which tells me I have 40 colors. The next column is your symbols that you're going to match your drills up with to lay down on your canvas. The third column shows you your colors. Um, in DMC colors. And uh, fourth column is quantity of drills. And uh, the fifth column is the weight. So, um, and I, they do weigh these in grams. So, and there is a clearer image of what you're looking at. I love sea life and octopuses. So these are octopi, right? The plural. Um, so I'll be excited to do this one. So that is one of the canvases that I got. Now, you may get a totally different one. Remember, these are mystery boxes. They pack these the way they want to pack them. So um, it will just depend on um, what you order. And if you specify, you know, they have that beautiful artist, Venera. Venera did um, the tea party one that I showed you. That's the art. She's one of my favorite artists on there. I love her work. She's on several different diamond paint companies. Um, sites. Okay, so the second one, this one says Dream on Dreamer. Okay, I could read that fairly well. This is a 30 by 40. It's a little one. Here are the drills. Not sure how that writing is going to come out, but I, as I always say, you have got to lay drills down on a painting before you figure it out. Both of these appear to be fairly confetti heavy, which doesn't, doesn't deter me because, like I've said, I have learned how to section off and uh, not look at the whole thing, so it doesn't really intimidate me. This one has 30 colors and appears to, have to be three ABs, 208, 33, 71, and 550, so I... Found, have I found all? Th yes, I found all three. So you got 3371, which is not a black AB, but it's pretty darn close. It's a very dark brown. Love 550 AB. That's that beautiful purple. And you have a lavender AB 208. So those are going to be your three ABs. I'm wondering, just for grins, I'm going to look. 3371 is a hashtag. Nope, it's not the writing. Okay, let me look and see. It's a hashtag, so where does that hashtag go? Oh my goodness, I am sorry. I just, you know me, I have ADD, and I'm not saying that to be funny, I truly do, so focusing is a challenge for me. Okay, so that um, hashtag appears to be sprinkled throughout the lettering. And like I said, I could read these words just opening it up and I had forgotten what it says, but it says dream on dreamer, which I love. Um, that is so me because I'm a total daydreamer. Um, but I will have to lay the drills down on this lettering. It appears to be big enough to where when the drills are down, you can read it clearly. Um, but it also, I'm gonna, can you pan in on that image? You can see too, it's kind of watercolory. So they want the letters to maybe be a little bit more faded in spots. That appears to be the effect that they're going for. So um, I, will, uh, I will let you know uh, when I start these and how I'm doing on them. Um, these two, I know they are from the one with the diamond art, but I really want to start either Miss Edith's Tea Party or the Queen of Spades. So um, if you can put down in the comments which one, that would be great. Don't include these, just wanted to clarify that. So that is the silver hamper from the one with the diamond art. And um, I'm thinking, again, I, it was around 70 bucks, but to get a pen, AB drills, and two canvases, I think that, you know, I think that's a, a great deal for what you get. And this was a total surprise. Like I said, if you do order a hamper from them, um, you can specify uh, an artist or the type of paintings that you like. I just wanted to be surprised. So 
That is what a hamper is from the one with the diamond art. I had so much fun opening this. I love surprises. Well, I really don't love surprises. I like getting into surprises. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did uh, and you wouldn't mind leaving me a thumbs up, remember to comment to help me pack for the retreat on which painting uh, that you would like to see me uh, get started at the retreat. I will definitely not finish, but uh, I could get started on it. And uh, I will be back with some more videos. And I hope you guys have a great start to your weekend and I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is The Principal Painter and I am signing off.